guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm sorry that I respond late to electricity. I'm just kind of busy since all these days. Now, before I start, I'll please like you to subscribe me to subscribe to my channel and please help click on the notification bell to receive the notification the notification of my new videos thank you let's get started now please so we are given question now let me say the apart is given to us in YF 2021 under electricity is that we are asked to provide a constant turn wire which is of length 100 cm I'm so sorry this is my constant turn wire of length 100 cm we have to provide a cell battery this is my cell battery in this case this is what my 1.5 volt under 1.5 volts making 3 volt battery and also we have to provide a 1 amp amp meter this in in some schools, you might not be able to get exactly one amp. This one, this amp meter that is here is what it can read one amp and it can also read 0 0.3. Sorry, it can also read what three amp. Depends on the way you connect. If you want to use it for one amp, as what is required for us from, from you in the wire is that what we, we should provide one amp amp meter. Now, if you want to want to make use of one amp. I'm meant to connect the positive terminal. Look at, we have two positive terminal here. One of the positive terminal is one amp. The second positive terminal is three amp. Now, if you have to utilize this, that means you are connecting the, 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 the your, your, sorry, you are making use of the one amp for your connection. That is it. And also, we also ask to provide a key. This is a key. The function of this key is to open and close the circuit. That's the function of the key. We also provide two ohm resistor. This is my two ohm resistor that is given to us here. These two ohm resistors, and also we have to provide a crocodile clip. The fun this is the crocodile clip. The function of this crocodile clip is to make contact with the constantan wire. Now, please note something. Please note. Now, in your experiments, sorry, in your school, you might not. Be, uh, they, you might not have this kind of what's sorry, they might not provide crocodile wire for you, but you can also what improvise by making use of a job key. That means a job key can also be what can also be utilized or can also be used in this experiment. Please note that. Now, in connecting everything, you need to what read the circuit. How do we read our circuit? That's what we need to know. Now, if we take a look at this point here, I have a circuit on the board. This circuit denotes that we have a cell and we have an ammeter. Please note something that the negative terminal of the cell should be connected to the negative terminal of the ammeter. Now, this black something denotes the negative terminal. This is my negative terminal of the cell. It is connected with a wire into the neg negative terminal of the ammeter. Now, the next connection is that the positive terminal of the ammeter should be connected directly to the key. The passive terminal of the amp meter, which is connected to one amp, is connected directly to my key. This is my key. Passive terminal is connected here. Now, sorry. Now, the other end of the key is connected to a crocodile clip. Now, this is my crocodile clip. Sorry, this is my crocodile clip. The crocodile, the connection of the crocodile clip is what is into the key. Look at this is my crocodile clip. I connect it to the key. Then the combination of this wire on this is connected to a 2 ohm resistor, which is connected here. Now, this is it here. Now, the other end of the 2 ohm resistor is connected directly to the constant time wire. This is the other end, which is connected to the constant time wire. This is the constant time wire here. Now I connect this directly to the constant time wire. Are we together? This is the constant wire. The wire is connected here. Look at, I just make a, contact, a junction here just to connect the constant wire. Now, why the wire is not connected directly to the positive terminal? Now, if you have a what? 
If your connection is so tight, then you can what? Have a good readings. But if your connection is wrong, then your readings will be what? Fluctuating. And please note, always check your reading when you notice that the reading, the, the ammeter is not fluctuating anymore. Then you what? You take the value at, you take your what? Exact value. Now, you see, in this reading, you can experiment in different way by calculating two values of your ammeter, of what? Current. That means initial value and the final value of my current. I can take the initial value. I can take another value. Then next, I'm going to find the average current. To what? To what? Avoid any forms of error. I'm going to find the average current. Now, in the, in the following, if you're after you've connected everything, then you what? Follow this instruction to answer your question. It said, connect the circuit as shown. It is being connected as shown. Now, initially, they said you read and record the reading. I note of the ammeter when the crocodile clip or job key is not making contact with the constantor wire. Now, I've done that to calculate for the what? Current I not when there is no what? Any forms of connection with the constantor wire. Then the next thing, we are asked to calculate, sorry, open, sorry, allow the crocodile clip to make contact with the constantor wire when X is 80 centimeter. That means you are going to find the current. That means this is how we are going to do that. You will measure a length 80 centimeter from here. Measure exactly 80 centimeter. On measuring your 80 centimeter mark, sorry, find your 80 centimeter. This is my 80 centimeter here. Place this at your 100, at your what? Zero mark. Then here at what? 80 centimeter mark. If this is my 80 centimeter, at your 80 centimeter mark, make sure that what? You connect, you make contact with the constant, constant wire. That means make um, this your crocodile clip to it to make contact with the constant wire by doing it like this format. Please note, if, one, if you don't want to have any forms of fluctuating reading, make sure that this thing is in contact, is in tight contact with the constant wire. Now, when it is in contact like this, then you try to close your key, close your key to calculate the current at that moment. When you want to close the key, calculate the current at that same point here. Yeah? Now, after calculating the current, you can also measure that of what 70. Measure that of 70. On measuring that of 70, calculate your current. Measure that of what 80. Calculate your what your current. So you are going to take your reading one by one and then try calculating for your calculate what your current on each each reading, which is given to us as shown. My I is 0 0.64, 0 0.68, 0 0.62, 0 0.60, 0 0.58. Now, this is my exact value that has been measured from this. Now, the next thing, we find what? X inverse. Now, your X inverse, you know from the question, it said read and record the ammeter with the I, evaluate X inverse. That means, as you are reading, evaluate your X inverse. Your X inverse is always given as 1 over x, 1 over x, this is my x inverse, 1 over x, that means 1 divided by each each value of x, I'll be having this, 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 this. This is what my exact readings. Now, after getting your reading, you have to plot a graph with i on the vertical axis and x inverse on the horizontal axis. Now, this experiment is trying to what, explain to us about how current our current varies with the length, our current varies with length of a wire. That is what he's trying to explain to us. And again, majorly, we might be asked to, cap to find what? The resistivity of the wire. Don't forget that what? Your resistivity of a wire is always given, resistivity of a wire is always given as what? Your resistance of the wire times the area of the wire all over the length of the wire. So we can calculate for resistivity of the wire using this same formula that resistivity is equal to what? Area times the length of the wire. All together. Now this is the what? Relationship that is formed between them. Now we have to find inverse of x. That means inverse of my x with the current plus the inverse of x with the what? Current. All together. We have like the current should be in the vertical axis in your graph. The current should be here. Why your x inverse should be in this place here. Now, these are the likely precautions that we can what that you should expect to have, that we what we expect you to have in the experiment. Now, 
Initially, I ensure tight connections. Please don't forget that what if you are performing any electrical, any electrical experiments, this is not something that tight connection is very what important. Now you should ensure tight connection because if your connection is not tight, then you'll be having fluctuating what reading. The next thing I avoided parallax error, and then where do you avoid the parallax error? Your parallax error is avoided when taking your what readings from your what ammeter. Now please note, if you want to take your reading, you look at it directly, vertically, instead of what looking beside to check. Because if you are looking beside, you are going to what have some kind of error. Now you avoid parallax error when taking your reading. Sorry, when taking my reading from the ammeter. Then another likely precaution is I avoided zero error of the ammeter. That is very important. Before you make use of any ammeter, try to cross check. The zero error simply means if this arrow here is not exactly at zero, maybe it has what shifted backward a little bit or it has shifted forward a little bit. Please try to notify your what your instructor. Stay on what this ammeter is having a zero error. Now, for it to be what stable, you need to what you see to what stable at zero centimeter. Uh, sorry, at zero points. That is what to show that what you avoided zero error of the ammeter. Now, thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to what click on the notification bell to receive new notification of my new videos. Thank you very much.